here's something that I would like to point out to anyone who's planning on designing a house that is going to be built in an area where it snows and it is very important and a lot of architects again they come up with these wonderful designs but they're not practical sometimes in certain situations especially when it snows now this area right here now the black arrow is pointing to the roof fascia board that is damaged and it's been filled in with some type of a filler and this damage I'm I'm not going to say this for a fact but I am going to it's going to be a high probability that the damage was caused from the snow could you imagine snow sitting on top of this section of the roof for a long period of time and it will melt the worse if you have a home that isn't insulated very good and this is an old house it's probably not insulated very good at all um, you're going to have heat from the house actually rising out of these uninsulated areas and they'll actually melt the snow and if these if you've got enough heat and enough snow you're going to have a constant supply of moisture in your ceiling it's going to just start building up and um, and i would imagine leaking through eventually and they actually have problems with ice building up in ceilings over situations just like this but for this particular video i just wanted to point point this out if you're designing a house that's going to be built in the snow try to keep as many areas as flat as you possibly can and when i mean flat i mean um, don't have a lot of roof valleys you know even hips i mean if you can get rid of a roof hip unless they're going to be steep and again the steeper the roof and the snow the better but if you have a slope like this which is about 20 degrees of an angle and you know it butts into another section of the roof you're going to have a snow buildup and that's not good